Ever wondered how often we stumble upon logical fallacies in our day-to-day -day conversations without even realizing it? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Logical fallacies in essence are errors in reasoning that undermine the logic of your argument. They come in various types, each with its unique way of clouding the truth. Today we're going to focus on one such fallacy, the strawman fallacy. Picture this. Someone erects a haphazard version of your argument, something you never said or implied, and then proceeds to knock it down with great fanfare. Sounds unfair, right? That's the strawman fallacy for you. It's a deceptive tactic, where the opponent misrepresents your stance, only to dismantle this distorted version triumphantly. Understanding the strawman fallacy is the first step to countering it. Let's dive deeper. So, what does a strawman argument look like in a left-leaning context? Let's dive right in. Suppose we're discussing climate change, a topic that often stirs up healthy debate. A left-leaning individual might say, right-wingers don't care about the environment because they oppose certain regulations. Now why is this a strawman argument? It's because it oversimplifies and misrepresents the right-leaning stance. The assertion that right-wingers don't care about the environment is a gross generalization that doesn't capture the nuances of their perspective. Many conservatives indeed question the efficacy of some regulations, but this does not translate to apathy towards the environment. They may believe in alternative solutions like market-driven innovation or individual responsibility, rather than government intervention. In this scenario, the left-leaning argument is acting as a straw man, a deceptive stand-in for the real argument. It's a caricature, exaggerated and easier to knock down. The right-leaning perspective is not about disregard for the environment, it's about the best ways to protect it. The strawman argument here is like a scarecrow in a field, bearing no true resemblance to the actual human it's supposed to represent. By simplifying the right-leaning perspective to, they don't care about the environment, the left-leaning argument sets up a strawman that's easy to criticize and seemingly impossible to defend, skewing the debate unfairly. As we can see, the strawman argument distorts the original stance, making it easier to attack. But how can we counter it? Now let's talk strategy. How can we detect and defeat the straw man? The straw man fallacy is a deceptive tactic where an opponent's position is misrepresented to make it easier to attack. It's like setting up a scarecrow, a straw man, and knocking it down, only to claim victory over the real opponent. But with a keen eye and a sharp mind, we can counter this fallacy. Firstly, we need to be familiar with the opponent's argument. Having a solid understanding of the other side's stance is key. It's hard to misrepresent what you know well. Secondly, when you suspect a straw man is at play, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. A question as simple as, is this what you believe I'm saying, can prompt the other person to reconsider their representation of your argument. Thirdly, if the straw man persists, point it out. Politely explain that the argument being attacked isn't yours, it's a straw man an oversimplified caricature of your actual stance. Finally, present your actual stance clearly and succinctly. Cut through the false narrative by laying out your beliefs and arguments in a straightforward manner. This leaves no room for misinterpretation or distortion. Remember, the goal isn't just to win an argument but to engage in meaningful dialogue, fostering understanding and respect, despite political differences. By understanding and recognizing the strawman fallacy, we can ensure productive and fair discussions, thereby bridging the political divide.